Welcome to Virtual Vacations, a Smarter Travel Media Podcast. On this episode, we invite you to close your eyes, leave your bags unpacked, and join us as we set sail down the Mekong River in Vietnam. Before we set sail on this journey, take a few moments to come into the present moment. Make sure you are seated or lying down somewhere comfortable, and then take a few deep, slow breaths. Bring awareness into the different parts of the breath, the slow, deep inhale, the little pause at the top of the breath, and then the exhale. As you exhale, let your shoulders relax and then soften the muscles in your face. Repeat this gentle, focused breathing for as long as you would like. When you're ready, we'll be setting sail down the Mekong River in Vietnam. This river in Southeast Asia snakes along thousands of miles, providing sustenance and livelihood for those who live along its shores. You've come from the manic, exciting, crowded Saigon and have boarded a small, comfortable ship heading north through Vietnam towards Angkor Wat in Cambodia. But your destination is days ahead. You're still at the beginning of your journey. You found a comfortable chair on the shaded bow of the ship, the perfect place to enjoy life at a slower pace. You've left the city behind and are slowly motoring through the countryside, in no hurry, just watching the day unfold. You hear the gentle lap of the water against the side of the hull. The warm breeze carries a hint of humidity the scent of mangoes, and the faint sound of music from a village along the bay. The ship moves from the center of the slow, wide river toward shore to make room for a barge that's going back and forth. It's a ferry, carrying people, scooters, and cars from one shore to the other. You watch as it moves by slowly in front of you. A few people look out, mildly curious but also impatient to get to the other side of the river and continue their day. Now that you're closer to shore, you can see life along the river. You pass a sleepy inlet framed by a trio of ancient wooden pedestrian bridges connecting the two sides of a tiny village. You notice a dirt road that leads past a cafe with low plastic chairs and you can just make out a table of elderly men clustered around steaming cups, watching the river traffic and chatting. Along the shore, children play in the water and women lay clothing out to dry along the banks. Cobbled paths wind gently past houses on stilts, thickets of glossy leafed trees forming borders between the houses. Small fishing boats, each holding two or three people, drift close to the shore. You watch as someone stands in one of the boats and in a graceful, swooping motion tosses out a net. It unfurls gently on the water, spreading out evenly as it sinks slowly. A larger boat, worn and wooden but brightly painted, motors by going the opposite direction, its crew busily bustling around the deck. You look ahead and realize that the river is so still here, it's forming a mirror for the sky, the line between the two obscured. Bright, puffy clouds seem to float above and on the water, and the blue sky creates a twin in the river. This tranquil introduction to Vietnamese river life feels like a quiet revelation. Your only job right now is to sit Look, breathe, and see the world. Feel free to continue your river journey in your mind, or to slowly return from the trip, 
and rejoin your regularly scheduled day. Thanks for traveling with us. We'll see you again soon. Virtual Vacations is a Smarter Travel Media podcast. This episode was written by Christine Sarkis, executive editor at Smarter Travel, and produced by Carol McPherson with executive producer Heath Alva. Virtual Vacations is also available, complete with meditative visuals, on YouTube at www.youtube.com slash smarter travel. This episode was sponsored by Jet Setter the stylish traveler's ultimate muse, and an insider source for everything you need to live a jet-setting lifestyle. To learn more, visit them on the web at www.jetsetter.com or find them on YouTube at Jetsetter.